let me tell you about Dora. Dora is huge, scary, massive, ugly. We tried to get rid of Dora, but we failed. Dora will always be there, and we have to live with that. So, who is Dora? Wrong question. You should ask, what is Dora? Dora is a complex of two enormous submarine bunkers situated close to our city center. Trondheim was a strategic place for the Nazi Germany with its fjord and harbor closely situated to the North Atlantic. The Dora complex is huge. It's covering 17,000 square meters. That's more than two football pitches. And standing tall, the walls are three meters thick. The roof is even thicker. It's literally built like a brick, a mountain of reinforced concrete. It was built by prisoners of war, slaves basically, who were treated poorly, given little food. Five Serbian prisoners were buried when a wall collapsed, just to make sure that the decaying bodies didn't destroy the construction, they were taken out. But the stories of the bodies buried in the walls lived on in the talks of this town. The two enormous bunkers were to house 13 submarines. They have room for torpedoes and weapons and equipment. In July 1943, American bomber planes attacked Trondheim and the harbor. The submarine workers and the harbor workers took shelter inside the bunkers and were unharmed. The bombs hardly scratched the surface of the bunkers. In 1945, we had peace, and the occupying forces pulled out. And we were left with two enormous bunkers very close to our city center. This had once been a lovely part of town. The locals called it the coast of Florida, with views over the fjord and the mountains. And my great-grandmother used to go bathing there. The Dora area stood unused for a while, and the city council discussed blowing up the buildings. But you would have to use so much dynamite to tear down the buildings that we would destroy half the city in their proceedings. Dora wasn't going anywhere. We had to live with these two enormous bunkers. I grew up in this area and remembering driving past the walls of Dora on our way to visit my grandmother. I would sit in the back of my dad's car and shiver at the sight of them. In fact, I would never take the shortcut via the Dora area at night. It's still a scary place. For a while, the area was empty, but after a while, it found a new life as facilities for industry, for warehouses, and Dora also became warehouses and archives, and as museum storage, the rooms are perfect, as the thick walls make for stable humidity and climate. In fact, the Nazis left us with a climate-neutral, stable building. But now the city council has decided that we are turning this into a new part of the city center. Dura and the surrounding area will be a modern waterfront part of town. There will be flats and shops and restaurants and schools 
and bars, and sports facilities, and places for cultural events, and parks. The heavy industry must leave, but Dura will, of course, remain. It is time to look at Dura with new eyes to integrate her with her new neighbors, her new surroundings. As I mentioned before, Dura has been used as storage facilities and warehouses, but there are still literally thousands of square meters left to be filled. I am the director of a science center. It's a place for sharing knowledge and for educating kids, a place for lifelong learning, for hands-on experience, and room to tinker. We are currently situated in an old building in the historical city center. It's nice, but it's getting cramped. And we can do so much more if we only had the room. You understand where I'm going with this. Last year, we invited kids to Dura in a workshop. We walked around the area, we talked about the war and materials and transformation of cities. And the children were clear, of course we can live in Dura. But we must add people and color, lots of colors. We can have exhibitions and a climbing wall. And we can even have a slide going from the roof all the way down to the waterfront. We can even have a submarine. For those kids, the walls of Dura was not the limit, not even the sky was the limit. So yes, I would like to turn this atrocious war monument into a peaceful science cathedral with no room for hate or fake news where we can learn about getting new ideas for a new world where kids can learn that science can help us create a peaceful future. Dura will always bear the marks of her former life. She will always be heavy and massive, but she doesn't need to remain ugly and appalling and scary. We can make her peaceful and welcoming. Dora will always bear the marks of her former life, but she doesn't have to be about her dreadful wartime past. She can be about a hopeful future. And then we can take sweet revenge on her makers who built her to destroy our values. Thank you. <laughs>